Testing one, two. Let's say something that way. Why are you booting? Hello, hello. All right. Very good. Why are you booting? Move it. Oh, I must have moved. Oh. Yeah. I wonder why I didn't move. Touch it. Yeah, this one will go. No, it's it's on. That's not the part. <laughs> it's members only right now. Then we'll change it. Oh, so you like that, Damon? <laughs> All right, y'all. How y'all doing this evening? But uh, finna get this podcast going. Is the echo on? Is it the echo probably turned up? No, turned it's down, not. So, uh, So, uh, the topic of today is how do you keep your relationship, uh, what is it? How do you keep your relationship spicy? Yeah, how do you keep your relationship spicy? <laughs> so, these questions will be directed towards Mr. Mavens for the evening. <laughs> All right. All right, so the first question we're going to start with is, how do you keep me happy? Um, listening, doing what you say, um, communication, like we was talking about last week. Definitely communication is key. Um, being loving when I have to. Um, listening when you come home from work after a long day. Just... All of the little things is what counts. That's what a lot of people don't understand. The little things. <laughs> yeah, the little things. So what you you got any input? <laughs> yeah, definitely when I come home, of course, everybody that has a job, 
you have you want to vent be able to vent to somebody and your spouse should be willing to listen to you and them actually being engaged in the conversation not just listening but some type of feedback or just acknowledgement that they're actually listening and care not just on their phones and just not saying nothing back in response to whatever you have to say yeah i got in trouble for that being on my phone while she was talking yeah some like you'll be talking to people or somebody <laughs> in particular and then you be like, okay, so you have nothing to say. You just going on and on. You've been talking for a good 15, 20 minutes, and this person ain't said nothing in response to what you had to say. Like, are you even listening? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. My parents over there acting crazy. <laughs> uh, another next question. How many times should you go on a date per month? when you're in a relationship? Mm, I'm going to say as many times as possible, but at least four times a month, I'm going to say. Like those weekends you should make, it just dedicate one of the days because you know y'all both work during the week. So you should dedicate one of the days of the weekend, I'm going to say Saturday, to be with your woman or man and just plan a whole day like from breakfast to dinner even if y'all go to the if you got to go to the nail salon with her or whatever <laughs> yeah there's a lot of couples now they um both go get pedicures it's a thing now guys back in the day used to didn't believe to get pedicures but now it's an actual date where the man and a woman both go get pedicures together Minus the men don't get the polish, of course, but you know, you could drink, drink you some little wine or pop for water and get your pedicures, relax. That's the date right there to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think so? Yeah. That is a date, though. That, that's what a lot of people don't get. Like, the, did you, I sh did I show you that list that was made on Facebook of the, re well, we did a video on. Like, and y'all see what Miss Mavens just said, the date is just going to the nail salon. <laughs> There's women saying they won't even go to the Cheesecake Factory or a basketball game for a first date. What done happened to women? I don't, I don't get it. I don't know either. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, y'all both relaxing, getting y'all feet done, and y'all can still have a conversation, have eye contact, and have a good time getting pedicures together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sure can. All right, so switch this up. Go ahead. You can keep talking. How do you um keep our relationship spicy? Switch this really quick. If I can get it. Hold on, y'all. Cheyenne. Huh. Where was the? You said there was one that had music, or is it? Or say karaoke? Which no, one had the it's song? That one. Oh, I think so. Is it? All right, y'all. Y'all could comment now. All right. So, hmm. How do I keep it spicy? Let me see. Um, just. Hmm. That's. That's one of them ones. I want to say the right thing, but I don't want to say the wrong thing. Okay. Um, oh, Paris just always doing too much. But no, um, keeping it spicy, you just want to make sure you doing everything you need to do as a man and make sure you're keeping your woman turned on. Um, how do you keep them keep me turned on? I don't know. I've got to make sure I stay myself. Like I got to make sure I keep my face on. I can't be going around looking rough. Mm -hmm. I got to make sure I got my cologne on, mm -hmm. got my nice clothes on. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah, because because no nowadays people get in relationship with somebody like they all got themselves together, hair done, nails done, nice outfit perfume you know makeup but then once they be in a relationship by like 
month, three, four. They just don't care about no makeup, having their hair done. They don't dress up. None of that. You need to keep it going throughout the relationship because, you know, if they ain't looking at you, they're going to start looking at somebody else. You got to keep their attention. Uh-oh, Miss Megan's <laughs> on to something. She <laughs> on to something right there because that's how it happened, though. And then eventually your woman or your man, you'll start to see doing stuff that they don't normally do. Like if you got a woman that ain't never been to the gym and she all of a sudden going to the gym every day, that's a problem. <laughs> if you got a man that ain't been going to the bar all the time and he all of a sudden going to the bar or the strip club every weekend, you got a problem. You're not doing something right. Don't get comfortable. Don't mm-hmm. start wearing jogging pants and sweats. If you're a woman, you got to be sexy for your man. And if you're a man, you got to be masculine and yeah, like on. some of y'all guys, y'all wear put on cologne to go out to the club or to the bar, but y'all never wear no cologne at home. Like yeah. that don't even make sense. Like who you wearing cologne for? Yeah. You need to be wearing it for your woman, not for some other girls or some guys that you could be around out in public. Yeah. Like your woman wanna smell you, you need to smell good for your woman. So they be like, mm, you know, they're yeah. smelling leaks. Other things, you know, they smell good, looking good. Yeah. <laughs> Paris, you're interrupting. <laughs> uh, Paris always trying to be the star of the show. Oh, just pick her up? Uh, because she. Just, so yeah, you got to be looking how you feel. Because I know, uh, I don't feel happy and don't feel complete unless my hair did. Like I don't be feeling like myself until my hair did. Like I don't feel pretty unless my hair did. The ponytail, we like the ponytail <laughs> though. Every all the subscribers like the ponytail too. Keep like the ponytail. the ponytail is cool for like a couple of weeks, but you know, after a couple of weeks, it's time to get your hair did. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness, you're so funny. <laughs> how often, Anthony, how often should you take your woman out shopping? Oh my goodness. <laughs> My woman goes shopping every day, so it don't even matter. <laughs> no, how like often no. I take her shopping. No, how she gonna often go on her should own. how often should a man voluntarily take their woman out shopping? And Never. it's like, baby, just go buy whatever you want. Never. And call on me. Never, because you're gonna be at the store all day. Well, the thing is, you're not just gonna be able to go to one store. You're gonna have to go to two three four five six seven but that's that's many. basically that's basically like a date that's a whole day because y'all can eat in between shop you, you call know. a shopping a date well, yeah because you gotta eat too while you shopping <laughs> oh, you hanging goodness. out spending time together and then you know what I'm saying you get to know that person like oh okay this person ain't no cheap person you know depending on how they shopping like oh yeah i mean i'm gonna get myself together and then get a second job or something because this lady this girl ain't cheap or, you know, say she might be a bargain shopper. You'd be like, oh, okay, I can see myself with her. She don't spend a lot of money, you know, so you can get to know the person. So shopping is a date because you really can get to know oh, what type of person goodness. or what you're getting into she taking is, a girl shopping. You can learn a lot stupid. about the person. Yeah, you can. You can learn their style. <laughs> you can learn how quick that is, you know, oh, shopping. You learn a lot oh, about uh, somebody t- okay. taking a woman shopping. So my answer is maybe once a month. That's it. <laughs> once. No more. Because if you do it too, because no. <laughs> nope. Once a month. Okay. Girls, once, they once, spend all your money. Once I'm a month is fine all. because then a woman can shop by themselves. But uh, you sh- the man mm-hmm. should at least go with the woman once a month. And so she could spend his buddy, you know, just ball out. A woman will shop <laughs> every day of the week if she can. Y'all men know that out there. I bet you the comments talking about it. What they say? Black Diamond said at least once a month. <laughs> oh, and then D Wizzy said walking down every aisle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. Every aisle. Gotta walk down every aisle. Gotta, uh, oh my goodness, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, but then while you taking your woman shopping, you could also learn like they style and everything they like. So when it's time come for her birthday, Mother's Day, you be like, okay, I know what she like. We done been shopping before. I know her style, what she like, what she don't like. So like I said, taking a woman out on date, you learn a lot about her. Yeah, you learn taking a lot. her shopping. Yeah, I mean, take we take the woman shopping, you'll learn a lot about her. Learn a lot, but see you. You like some of everything decoration-wise, so it's hard to learn a lot about you. 
Oh yeah, I'll go house shopping before I buy some clothes and stuff. I go straight to the uh, home decor section yeah. and then clothes that's, be last. <laughs> that's Miss. That's what she do. She not lying. That's yeah. exactly what she do. <laughs> okay, so my next question, Mr. Mavens, is: Do you like a woman natural hair, or do you like a woman to wear a weave? I like the natural hair better. You know, I play with trimmers all the time. <laughs> I like the natural better, but I mean, it's nothing wrong with weave, though. It's just how some people wear it, some women wear it. I mean, um, there's nothing wrong with it, though. I ain't got nothing against it. I just like natural better, though. Everybody got their own preference. Yeah. I mean, I do wear weave, too, so. Yeah, tell them you wear weave. A lot of people be thinking you'd be having old wigs. <laughs> no, actually, I wear sew-ins. I got a wig once. But yeah, I don't. I prefer sewing over wig installs because some wigs mm -hmm. take your edges out. They glue. My hair don't do good with wigs. <laughs> so, Mr. Mabins, is there anything wrong with a woman wearing tennis shoes, or should a woman wear heels? Uh, it depends on the what she got going on that day. Now, if she just uh, going to work, running around, or taking the kids to school, or it depends on her job too. Like, it it just all depends on what she what she's representing. Like, if she gonna wear heels, maybe she's got an office job and she got to dress up, or maybe she work at a bank or something, or something like that. But if she, like I said, if she's just running around normally, doing running errands, taking the kids to school, going to the grocery store or something like that, it's nothing at all wrong with tennis shoes. But I've also seen women in stores with heels on too, though. So, I mean, maybe they be on just left work or something. I don't know. But some don't have a choice. Some have to wear heels. So, it's okay. You know, it depends so, on the woman. If you're if you were single and you was looking for a good woman, would you go to the club to look for a woman or would you go to church, grocery store? Like, where would you go if you was actually looking for a woman? I, I'm not going to look for one. <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> well, God if, just send them to me. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if I had my choice. I'm definitely not going to no club looking for no woman. That ain't that. That's at the bottom of the list. What's um, wrong with finding a woman at the club? Uh, most of them, if they if they in the club when you find them, they obviously gonna still be going out once you get with them. That that's never gonna stop. Like that's like if you partying when I meet you, you're gonna always want to party. Mm -hmm. So that's how I look at it. But, yeah, if um if I had a choice, church girls even wild too. I think I'd rather just meet to roll the dice at a grocery store or something. I don't know. <laughs> uh Darion and Pumpkin said the gym. The gym is a good place, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, because then y'all always have that fitness in you. You always gonna wanna go work out, so yeah, it's a good environment, mm -hmm. and y'all both, you know, actually they're doing some y'all both like to do. <laughs> some y'all could continue yeah. doing and be a good mm -hmm. meetup spot, safe. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What? Uh, <laughs> she, she ain't gonna wanna. You gotta go pick her up and bring. I her already out. did. I just picked her up and brought her in here, and now she's back in there. Well, you gotta do it again. All right, Mr. Mavens, another um, question. I'm trying to think of some questions. Y'all got any questions y'all want me to ask Mr. Mavens as far as relationships? Um, next question. Should the man of the household pay all the bills or should it be 50-50? let see. That's the reason we going back on this again because we talked about this last week. If y'all watched the video from last week, and a lot of people was giving feedback on it saying what it should or shouldn't be. So we're going to let y'all answer this in the comments. 50-50. Uh, <laughs> Another guy says 60-40. 50-50. 
Well, in uh, the Mavens household, Anthony pays all the bills. And I mean, that's just how my household was where I was raised. My dad paid all the bills. Yeah, 50, 50. still living in the 50, old 50. days. We still in the and, old days, y'all. <laughs> yeah, we both come from the same type of background as well. Same household, two parent household. Um, they both Christians. His parents is Christians, and what's crazy is both our parents are Pentecostal, so we came from the same background. Mm -hmm. Mama, who said they already turned off the machine? Huh? They, they already turned off the machine. Ain't no she way. said they turned off the machine. Ain't no, no, it's not. She just don't want to get it. Yeah, she don't. But no, um, that's how we, I mean, I've always did it because you was in school. When you went to school mm -hmm. for a little bit, then we had Cheyenne. So you dropped for a little bit, then you went back. That whole time, I was pretty much the sole provider of the house. So nothing's yeah, changed. Yeah, I wasn't working at all. I nothing. had no income, but I got income now, but. Yeah, and still nothing ago. really changed though. I mean, mm -hmm. you let you keep all your money and do what you want to do with it. And that's how that's another way to keep your health your relationship yeah. healthy and yeah. your woman mm -hmm. happy. And, you, and she ain't all yeah. stressed out and stuff, you know, mm -hmm. it keeps her happy. What they come and say that about them? <laughs> and to remember the Dollar Tree brother. <laughs> the Dollar Tree, I'm trying to remember. I don't know. That's about. I don't know. <laughs> I just say the crime faces as well. No, but that's how it's been in our house for a long time, and I don't. This is just not gonna change. I mean, why change it now? I let her keep her money, and like I say, that's uh, the cheat code to really wealth. Like, cause she get to keep all her money and save it all, and most of mine gets spent on bills. I still keep a lot of money too, though. But hey. <laughs> yeah, thanks to y'all followers on YouTube. Y'all help bring in extra income for the Mavis. We appreciate y'all. Uh, subscribers. <laughs> all day. I'll be messing up followers, subscribers. I, well, thank y'all. Uh, dang, I had a question. Well, I was gonna what did say? The guy said the same. It works for you guys. That's great. Anything that keeps you both close and happy. Uh, so... I had a question. Oh, shoot. I well, I got no, one. No. <laughs> okay, what's the question? Come no, on, you go ahead. You oh, ahead. okay. Anthony, how do you feel about, okay, uh, does kids keep a relationship together? Yes, because, I, yeah, that most definitely will keep, especially when they're younger. Now, when they get older, probably not, but when they still like babies to like five to maybe even all the way up to 10 years old that will glue a relationship back together because you don't want to see your young child around another man or another woman so most definitely <laughs> i will say so okay so what if the girl is pregnant and a boy that she's with or a young man that she's with don't want the baby how do you feel about that type of situation? Oh, man. Ugh. Ooh, that's a rough one. I mean, they just don't have to come to agreement on what they want to do. Um, uh, Black said he respectfully disagrees. With what? Oh, the uh, keeping, no, I guess uh, kids keeping a family together. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, usually when they're younger, it would pull together i know a lot of things done change now i just yeah. feel like okay that'll keep a family together but it ain't gonna keep the man and woman relationship together it ain't gonna bring they bring them together they're basically just gonna be living in the household together with the child in the home but no relationship that's how i feel kids mm -hmm. really ain't gonna keep no relationship together it ain't gonna make you happy it's just gonna be like kind of you're forced to stay together at this point until the child gets older and older and you don't have to be together. That's anymore. why you see but you're a basically lot of staying together for the child just so they have both of their um, parents in the household. Yeah. You don't want to hurt the kids. So, yeah, I have a different opinion on that as well. Yeah, like I said, I've seen some couples do that where 
they stayed together until the kids graduate high school. But then I think about that, like, why would you waste, what's that, like 17, 18 years of your life with somebody just yeah, because that's of your child? Yeah, a big waste. And then once you do separate because your child is grown now, you're now you're trying to move on with your life and do the things that you wanted to do. Yeah, and you're older, so mm-hmm. now you're doing things that a 20 year old would be doing and you in your forties partying like a yeah. rock star. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that ain't, that ain't no way. Yeah. Oh, I don't see how people do it when they're older. Cause I'm telling you right now, when I have a one drink on a Saturday night, I take me almost all day Sunday to recover. <laughs> My old head. Look. Yeah, so back to the other question. What if uh, a girl gets pregnant and the guy don't want to be with the girl. So basically she got pregnant on, on was well, one accident, but the pregnancy was unexpected and they are not once he don't want to be with her. Well, if he don't want to be with her, see, that's a little different. But if the girl wants to keep the baby, he can't be mad about that. Mm-hmm. There, there, there ain't nothing he can do about that. That's her body. If she want to carry it and she want to keep it. But at the same time, he's going to be stuck with paying child support for. No, I mean, not necessarily because all girls don't put their baby daddies on child support, especially if he actually do the right thing, take care of the child, and there's no need for child support. Mm-hmm. Not all girls put their men on child support. Yeah, you're right. But I mean, mm-hmm. some do just to be spiteful, but most of them, yeah. some of them don't. Yeah, so I mean, it, it's just, that could go both ways, but. Like I said, it pretty much depends on the girl and if she wants to go through with it. Because if she do, it's nothing. There's really nothing he could do about it. Like even mm-hmm. if he trying to pay for her to get rid of it, it's really nothing he could do about Mm-mm, it. He can't force that. Nope. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. Uh, so Mr. Maybins, um. Let's see what I can ask you. Um, okay. Uh, is it okay if, okay, does your wife or girlfriend has a real close friend? They've been friends for like 15 years and she get kicked out of her house. Is it okay for her to move in with her and her boyfriend? Mm-hmm. No, oh, a guy that's her friend. That's no, her if a girl friend. has a girlfriend, they've mm-hmm. been friends for like 15 years, and the girl boyfriend kick her out, is it okay for her to move in with her and her boyfriend? Ooh. I would say it's okay, but it's just never a good situation. That don't never turn out good because uh, most more than likely that <laughs> one be your friend or whoever friend gonna end up getting out of the shower one day or being in the refrigerator late at night in some short shorts or something something gonna happen that's gonna mess up the whole thing like i've seen that situation go down plenty of times and it always end up going the way where the girl and the guy mess around but what if the girl has absolutely no family around nowhere to go she so basically, she homeless. I mean, like I said, it's okay for her to move in, but still, what? I mean, you just don't want to bring another woman to live in a house with your man. That right. just don't work out. You <laughs> never do, especially a woman that just broke up with somebody because she heard and she gonna do some things that she's not supposed to do. And your right. husband or boyfriend probably will too, just because he see it's available. Not talking for myself. <laughs> I wouldn't dare have no woman living with us anyway. Not, not even family could come over here. <laughs> oh boy, she is funny. Start seeing <laughs> what some of them comments say. They uh, uh, they person said H no. <laughs> yeah, said no, go away. Woman <laughs> shelter. <laughs> Oh, y'all send her to the, the motel, shelter. Hotel, hotel, oh, holiday. <laughs> yeah, we could pay for her stay for a month at the hotel. Oh, my goodness. Y'all what crazy. Sounds like she got to figure it out. <laughs> oh, boy. But no, that's that's real talk, though. Like, that one, I'm telling you, 
the woman gonna end up doing something or the man gonna end up coming some kind of way they gonna come on to each other when uh the friend is gone something's gonna happen you can't leave them two in the house together okay <laughs> next question so if you out on a date with your woman is it okay for the woman to pay for y'all a meal or should the man pay for the meal uh, if the woman offers to pay should you allow her to do so if the woman offers to pay i'm a tip okay so you'll and let then, the woman pay and you yeah, I'll let the tip. woman pay some men be trying to act like they always have to pay and this and that no you don't have to if you if a woman offers to take you out to dinner you better accept that offer because that's <laughs> once in a miles said miles said no your lifetime no let me shut up <laughs> no no but if a woman offers to take you out to eat you better accept that offer if she offers to pay for you to uh, have a steak you better take that steak <laughs> but no um just like when you offered to take me out yeah i always allow you to i'm not gonna stop you <laughs> no but like i said i would i'll i'll pay the tip if the woman want to uh, pay for the bill but Mainly when you're going out to eat, the man should pay for the food. But it's like if y'all been together for so long, then why can't it just be 50 50? Mm -hmm. That don't make sense. Yeah. I mean, maybe your first date, y'all both pay, but some, in most cases, that don't happen either. Yeah. Month. So you just never know. <laughs> what they saying? They going crazy over there. They said, teach her to give. Yep, yep. Except if you're <laughs> dating, facts. <laughs> if she offers you, I totally agree on that subject. Just, <laughs> oh, just no begging. <laughs> definitely no begging. And definitely, uh, how? Uh, what about when somebody, when you're going out on your first date and the person order all of this <laughs> like the most expensive stuff on the menu and don't even really eat and don't even eat it don't eat it and want you to pay for it that's crazy yeah because there's a lot of people do that too yeah they like that little john <laughs> give him a little john oh <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mr. Mavens. Um saw so you um saw so a couple been married for like 10 years and he started wearing his wedding ring just the first month. Then after the first month, he no longer wears his wedding ring. Does a wedding ring matter if you're married? Should you wear it or not wear a wedding ring if you're married? you definitely should wear your wedding ring if you're married because i i made this mistake too i didn't know it mattered that much to wear the ring but it did to her and i ain't even realize it till she started getting on me about it all the time she's like why do you wear your ring nowhere i'm like it's just a ring i'm thinking in my head like it's just a ring and no it's not just a ring yeah my issue was okay you will he this the thing y'all he will put on earrings he will put on a watch. He will put on his chain, but he wouldn't put on his ring. It's like, okay, you put on all this jewelry, but a, but your ring. Like, what's wrong with wearing your ring? You take out the time to put on everything else. Right. I did. She, she right there. And he would just be like, well, everybody know we married. It shouldn't matter if I have on my ring or not. <laughs> it's just a ring. Yeah, I don't know. I was just So, yeah, I feel like if you're married, you should wear your wedding ring at all times unless you at work. Uh, because that's the first thing. I mean, nowadays women don't care if you're married or not, but still they'll see if you actually have a ring on. Some women won't approach you if you have a wedding ring on. And that's just a sign of respect to your woman as well that you're taking. You know, that's just, I definitely see a ring as a big deal. Yeah, you have to. Like I said, I didn't realize how big of a deal it was till you said something about it. And that ring, I forgot. It, 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 uh, what is it? Um, 
the circle represents something. I can't remember what it represents. They say it when you when when you're getting married. I can't remember what that circle represents in the ring. But that's the reason why you wear it, though. And I, I always wear mine now. We don't. We don't. We just got me another one. What was that last year? Or? Two years yeah. ago. No, nah, it's been a while. That was when we said Niagara Falls. Yeah, that was about two years ago. Just got me another new one. He said a wedding ring uh, represents eternity. That's what I was trying to get. I just didn't know exactly <laughs> what it represented. It's, <laughs> it's, a, it's symbolic. Yeah, okay. That's what I was trying to get at. Thank y'all in the comments for helping me out with that. <laughs> All right, it's been 35 minutes. So if Mr. Mabins want to ask Ashinka Shay some questions, uh, I ain't even use none of this stuff. Yeah, you're supposed to be keeping them amped up with that. You got to keep them amped up. I forgot. The questions All right, stuff. so we're going to do this. Uh... <laughs> oh, we're going to switch. Oh, boy. We got to switch, y'all. You can stay in your side seat. Oh, well, okay. never mind. No, no, we ain't going to switch. Gotta do the... Oh, yeah, yeah you got to do, do the things. <laughs> Okay. You use them more than me. I forgot. I used them a lot last time. I forgot this time. You want to say hi? Come here, baby. She's coming with her toy. Come here, sweetie. What y'all want me to ask, Miss Mavens? Hey, Okay, so. Oh, boy. Okay. We only gonna be on here for an hour, y'all. I gotta um, spray them little flowers back there with some glitter. Get our shy's bouquets going. <laughs> yep, they still making a bouquet, so I don't know where that go. <laughs> okay, so we had a guy in the comments say um let me see what did he say oh he said uh that this gonna make you laugh too because a lot of people was asking me about this at work too because they seen the comment i think it got like 1500 likes or something <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. i don't know yeah. if i'm ready <laughs> <laughs> well he said uh Miss Mavens is thicker than racial profiling in Alabama. <laughs> so I remember that. <laughs> can, can anybody tell me what uh, racial profiling like in Alabama? If anybody live in Alabama? Yeah, I ain't never been in Alabama, <laughs> so that ain't nowhere I'll probably go. Either. Well, that's where the Gulf Shores at, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's always different though in the tourist uh, areas. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh boy. No, but um okay, uh we had a guy comment from St. Louis. He said he's gonna be at the car show next week. He said is Mrs. Maven's gonna bring him some of them leftovers from the plates that you'll be making. <laughs> no, nah, I ain't gonna have, I can't bring no leftovers. I'm sorry. Everybody in this house will be eating all the leftovers. You won't bring it out. Oh, <laughs> Probably ain't close to that. But yeah, unfortunately, y'all can't even really cook right now. Uh, we had got some countertops ordered and they brought them to install them and they was <laughs> the wrong size. So they was trying to make some uh, modifications and I wasn't going for that. I was like, nah, just go ahead and reorder the countertops. So Miss Mavens really ain't been cooking. I did cook some breakfast this morning, but I used the air fryer. Cause I ain't trying to be, I can't wash no dishes right now. So I did make some bacon in the air fryer this morning and some hash browns and some French toast sticks. Huh? Oh man. Okay. But yeah, thank God for the air fryer. <laughs> and I had some little uh, liners. So I just changed them out, throw them in the garbage. Yeah. <laughs> what you want to show you? Oh, nothing. Oh, you just. Because it looked like that you was hitting her with the tongue. Oh. <laughs> I it. Okay, um, so I'm going to go back to um, my 
What was my oh my god my but yeah we're going to the car show uh make sure y'all go to the car show if y'all in the st louis area jay johnson shout out to him having a midwest easter car show it'll be easter sunday he gonna oh, have uh he gonna have an easter egg hunt easter bunny out there he giving away uh he got he got some giveaways some easter baskets it's gonna be lit y'all and mr mavens will be at the car show so i don't did you put the flyer on the youtube the, uh, I'm gonna post it on the community tab after this, but yeah, it's on the video. It's on there. Okay. Make sure y'all check that video out. Um, where Miss Mavens, my car is missing. She stole it and took it to the shop. I guess I don't know. Yeah, it's still at the shop too. Yeah. <laughs> so that one ain't gonna make it. So it'll probably be the SS and a uh, Porsche. So, um, Miss Mavens, so how do you? keep a relationship spicy i make sure i keep him uh well fed i make sure his food is hot so i make sure i cook for him and you know what I'm saying? right before he get up i make sure he is ready to go i don't cook it hours before i know he getting up and then he got to put his food in the uh, microwave to warm it up because i don't like i like my food fresh so no <laughs> Pull it up. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Can you hear me better? Tell me. Uh, yeah, that's a good. Yeah, I hear you. Okay. And um, then, yeah. um, you know, I don't really wear a heel, so 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 time to time, you know, I put me a little cute little tight dress on. <laughs> but he like eyeshadow, y'all. So I put my little eyeshadow on. I don't really wear mascara, but I put some eyeshadow on. I don't wear no foundation, but he likes that eyeshadow, so I always make sure I put that on for him. And when he see the eyeshadow, boy, he be smiling because I know that's what he likes. So I just do little things I know he likes. Um, sometimes, uh, what else I be doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he be a man when he don't come and get his food hot. <laughs> that's great. Great answers, Miss Mavens. Yeah. Oh, you ain't got nothing else you be doing? <laughs> oh, um. I forgot what, what was the question? Okay, again? Uh, no, keeping it spicy. Uh, so a lot of people was asking about when you, um, when the delivery guy came over and you opened up your house. <laughs> what about it? <laughs> no, they was just like, oh, we see what really be happening for real. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Okay, somebody just asked, what's your first and second favorite holiday to decorate for actually that's shy man one of our first subscribers uh the first holiday that i like to decorate for is christmas because i have the most christmas stuff like you know the tree the outside the inside like the tree part that's my most favorite part to decorate is the tree mm -hmm. especially since i done learned how to do some new stuff with the ribbon and mm -hmm. then my second is still not loud no you good I'll just put it closer oh. to you. And then my second holiday I like to decorate is, um, I would say fall, fall time, because they have some really pretty uh, fall decorations. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Those are the two holidays I got the most stuff. Where mm -hmm. I can decorate inside and out. Yeah, you Do we have those? kids? <laughs> uh, yeah, we have we have three kids. <laughs> we have uh, two daughters and one fur baby. So we have a 14 year old, no, hold on, 15. <laughs> 15 and she fit to be 16, May 9th. Shout out to Shina. She does our recording. <laughs> and then we have a 16 year old, Shamari. She'll be graduating this year. And then she. You said 16. She's 17. Oh. <laughs> Hi. She's 17. She's 17. <laughs> So we have two daughters. We have, well, I'm going to just say 15 and 17. And we have Miss Paris Mavens. She's three. That's your oh, baby. my goodness. She called Paris. <laughs> Paris is the fur baby. Well, for <laughs> y'all that ain't seen her, she always in the videos. This is my baby girl. You say hi, mama. Say yes. I'm the baby. I'm wow. part of the family. Y'all don't count me out. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness, she is crazy. Mom. Oh. She ain't looking at me, she know better. 
So yeah, we have two girls. That's it. We ain't having no more kids. <laughs> I don't like. I like kids, but I don't want no more. Mm. <laughs> kids ain't for me. Oh, no, they cool to babysit from time to time, but no, I don't have patience for kids. So trying to have, live my life. You don't have patience for kids. She's serious mm -hmm. too, y'all. She not playing. Y'all little right now. I want one of them. Start all the way over. No way. Jose. She's not playing. <laughs> no way. That's why I got pears. <laughs> nope. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um. Let's see. We she don't too. read some comments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this person said you keep the relationship spicy wearing jeans. Actually, I don't even like wearing jeans. I hate wearing jeans. I love wearing my sweatpants. I like to be comfortable. I hate wearing jeans. <laughs> Since I went back to work, I've been having to wear jeans mm -hmm. every day, and I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Up to me, I will wear sweatpants or a dress every day, so I'm comfortable. I don't like tight-fitting clothes, well, like and I have clothes. to wear it. Well, I don't have to, but the way I'm shaped, I got to wear my stuff tight. Because my waistline is small, or else my jeans will be sticking out in the back. <laughs> what you say, Shana? I said, or oh, jumpsuit, like you be wearing your loafers and stuff. Yeah. Those things. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, before I started working, I was just always in sweats. No jeans. <laughs> <laughs> I just put on jeans today because we did some videos. <laughs> Oh boy, she is so funny. Um, okay, so have you ever been mad when I said no to something that you asked for? <laughs> when have you said no to me? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to think. Like, <laughs> I'm trying to think. Um, when you said no, because you always say yeah. <laughs> Tell me when you said no, so I can remember. Mm -hmm. Because I don't, anytime I ask for something, you all just say, okay. Or basically, I just do it and then tell you I did it. You'd be like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's called spoiled. That's sad. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Um, so, um, oh my goodness. Hair is so itchy. It's a baby. I'm going to cut this stuff off. Um, okay, so Miss Mavens. Uh, <laughs> Being where you at, um, how much further do you want to go with this? With what? The content creating, the what we doing right now, and do you want to keep doing this or? Uh, I would like to keep doing it, but I would like to collab with people, um, do videos with other people, get us out there, you know, help other folks, uh, be an inspiration, which we already an inspiration, but. I would like to uplift other people as well that's trying to get out there and help them get this money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a lot to be mad. That's but yeah, sure. I would like to be like, I'm kind of shy, but I can see myself in some movies, not on the stage doing stand up and all that, because I'm definitely, I definitely can't do that. <laughs> but like, I could, I could be in some movies though. Even if we have to start off in some Tubi movies, hey, I'm. <laughs> Uh, Shay is available for some Tubi movies, oh, y'all. Boy, she is probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, hey, I see a lot of creators get into Tubi movies though, and ain't nothing wrong with that. Tubi pay just like all the rest of them pay. So ain't you gotta start off somewhere. Yeah. I mean, you start off in Tubi movies, then you'll get in the mainstream movies. I mean, you'll, mm -hmm. eventually you'll get up there. Plus, <laughs> you can watch Tubi movies for free, so everybody like free watch free movies. <laughs> uh, shy man said he's avail available for adoption. <laughs> and, I don't know what that comment about said white. Um, not gonna read that one. Um, Let me try to do this. She think I need to play. Bring your toy. <laughs> let's see. Oh, and uh, people want you to want us to do a video of your car, and they want to know, do you really like it? How do you, are you enjoying your new vehicle? Oh yes, I love my car, y'all. Hey, XX, my kids always always be like, they don't want no smoke. 
Hey, I'll hurry up and hit that. Doing that earlier. I'll hurry up and get that ga- uh, hit that gas pedal. I love the way it sounds like it got a nice mean growl. Like I love it. <laughs> she said that when we left the car wash. Like, but like, I still, I know. still wouldn't, I wouldn't race nobody. I just be funny to y'all. But I already know I got a fast car. <laughs> I absolutely love my car. I get compliments all the time about my car. <laughs> Yeah, this Super Mario shirt is lit. That's why I put it on. I like. I like all the. You y'all know they're bringing out a lot of the cartoon characters. I keep touching the wrong side. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, they're bringing out a lot of the cartoon characters. I seen the Flintstones collection coming up. But yeah, that's what I like to wear. All the cartoon characters. I don't care how old I am. Somebody said something about me being in the Rugrats hoodie. I don't care. Reliving my childhood. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ain't <Anna. laughs> <laughs> 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 going crazy. <laughs> okay, let's see. You think they're going to make Cleo sales tonight? I don't know because I don't know how bad she is. Oh man, it's almost time for us to get off of here. It's almost crown time. Man, y'all, so salty. So we got jacuzzi back there that we was using. And then um, the last time I filled it up, it was leaking somewhere. And I ain't had nobody look at it yet. But this will be the perfect night to chill in that jacuzzi, man. So y'all understand what you got till you ain't got it no more. Yep. <laughs> like we yeah. had it, we weren't using it, but now I really want to use it. It can't use it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, will Anthony ever get a chance with Miss Mavens when he come to the porch? <laughs> mm. If if Miss Mavens gives Anthony a chance, then he really gonna be stalking. Like <laughs> then he gonna be basically be down there every day, all day. Like that boy will go crazy. So I don't think Miss Mavens would do that. No. <laughs> and plus Miss Mavens is good friends with Anthony's mom. That would be very disrespectful. <laughs> that is funny. Oh my goodness. Yeah, no, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> No then there wouldn't be no more Miss Mavis and Anthony's if Miss Mavis gave Anthony a chance. But I guess we could turn into a different sequel if she did. We're going to do that one that you was talking about last mm-hmm. week. Okay. Uh, so we had a person when you made the burgers in the loaded tater tots. This person tried to say that why Miss Madden's get food from Sonic and get it to her husband. <laughs> so what do you think about people like that? I mean, hey, everybody can't cook, so I ain't, I ain't hating on nobody that go buy some fast food and give it to their uh, they spouse. Kudos to them. But, I mean, at some point, you got to learn how to cook. Yeah. So, yeah, no, I don't do that. I actually... Be on the stove and cook, yeah. and then I actually bought some ground beef and made my own patties. I ain't buy the frozen. But yeah, I ain't got nothing against the women that go out there and buy fast food. I do it sometimes, but home cooked me always better, and it's safer because you don't know what they be doing back there uh, with that food. Their hands clean, they spend in your food. If the meat bad, like you just taking a chance eating fast food, you just never know. You saw it's always safe, safer to eat a home cooked meal. Yeah, you're right. It sure is. <laughs> you just never know. I mean, them restaurants done been sued over some of everything. You know, you got, they got bugs. People crazy. Mm-hmm. Like if they make the workers mad, they do some. Like yeah. you just never know. Yeah, so like uh if my food don't be right, I'd be scared to send my food back. I'd be like, no, it's cool. You know, my milk could just be free. Forget that. Ain't no um <laughs> just make my food free. Don't send my stuff back. Um okay. Now <laughs> I gotta take over here. Cause Miss Maven's just lied. She know good and well. 
She if the restaurant mess up her food, <laughs> we're going to be right back in that line. And she going to be snapping. No, I'm talking about an actual sit-down restaurant. Yeah, now, know, fast food. Oh, no, you better get my stuff right. No, especially, I'll be hungry, too. Now, at least at a fast food restaurant, we don't have any little salad or appetizer, so I ain't starving. But fast food, I'm hungry. Oh, my and I ain't finna eat no messed up food. <laughs> oh my goodness, she is finally there. I even like, okay, I know I be like when we order food from like a fast food place and they mess up my food, I wouldn't even care. But she gonna go back and get back in line, like, nope, we pay for this with our money, we they gonna make it how you want it. And I don't be caring, yeah, like, especially if I'm like hungry, if I'm gonna eat it. If you pay extra for some bacon or extra for some cheese sauce, then you don't get your sauce or your bacon. No, I want that. I pay extra for that. What you mean? Oh, boy. Now, if we pay for some food and get some extra food and our original food is messed up, then okay, it's cool. To add the free food, mm -hmm. the extra food they gave us make up for it. So I ain't gonna go back for that. Yeah, let me... Um, I see who you're talking about. I'm about to remove that person from the channel. No, the person said people, this person keep talking crazy. So I, Man, I wish hit I all seen his it. comments. No, it, it just talking about stuff about spreading cheeks and so just dumb stuff. <laughs> so I just removed those comments. Uh, thanks for letting me know that i i mean i was saying them but i wasn't really um saying nothing but you can't continue in the i can't see nothing crazy back comments here. It's just yeah we're gonna keep the videos coming oh y'all we got about three minutes left so now we're just gonna read some comments mm -hmm. let's see Mark Gray said, a real life channel. Keep the videos coming. Cheer to that. Uh, nothing better than a home cooked meal from Pumpkin Jack. Cheer to that. <laughs> only Anthony's mom sends a proof. <laughs> Only if Anthony moms. Only if Anthony's mom sends her <laughs> approval. It's just so funny. I couldn't even say it. Right? <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Uh, yeah. Thanks, uh, Angie. Son, love. You're the reason I blocked those comments out from that person that was on here talking reckless. We definitely can't have that. But anyway, uh, what y'all got planned for the weekend? Um, we just, this is something that we're going to start doing um, just to interact with the subscribers because we appreciate y'all. So we're going to get on here every week and try to do a different topic. Next week, we might have to do it on the phone, but, or no, next week we... We might have to do it on, on Friday instead of Saturday. Mm -hmm. That's what it would be. Because we're going to be out of town. We're going to be in St. Louis. So hopefully we see some of y'all St. Louis subscribers out there. It's a big car show. So hopefully we see y'all there. <laughs> Uh, a yeah. new character in the upcoming skits. Who's a new character? <laughs> well, you did a couple of you different ones that, today. You said that he was going to be here. Hmm? Y'all said that he was going to be on phone. Or her Yeah, son. but he ain't going to act right. Yeah, He'll never got, be dressed. Yeah. <laughs> well, we got, yeah, we don't want to give away too much, but we got one where. Anthony's going to come to Miss Maven's house and it might be somebody or it might not be somebody sitting on the porch with her. Then, yeah, Miss, Miss Maven's might have another um, young man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, that's funny. 
Uh, yeah, so then we got one where a handyman is coming in. We got a handyman coming now. So stay tuned for that. Then we got a, a scammer in the neighborhood. Scamming yep, another people. scammer. Uh, Y'all got to stay tuned for that. Then we got Mr. Mavens uh, stealing tax money. Y'all got to stay tuned for that <laughs> one, too. We didn't did a lot of videos. They just haven't made any haven't been uploaded yet but they y'all see them in the next week or so sure. mm -hmm. but yeah thanks to everybody that's supporting the channel and um we just gonna keep on switching it up keep on doing different things but we gotta stick with the mr and mrs mavens because that's what everybody loves so much so we definitely gonna keep those coming and I'm going to let Miss Maven say what she got to say to y'all. Hopefully, y'all have a blessed weekend. <laughs> yeah, I hope y'all enjoy the rest of y'all weekend. Y'all have a good night. Um, always make sure y'all let your loved ones know that you love them. They may not know it. Just, you know, take out the time, send them a little simple text, you know, or see them in person and be like, hey, I love you. You know, you never know things do happen out of your control so just make sure you love make sure you love us know give them their flowers while they're here so yeah, yeah. take your woman out on the date job i got you, mm -hmm. <laughs> I got take you. Her out on dates the date. do matter you know the men might not think so but it means a lot to the woman if you take them out yeah get that woman out of the house for sure so yeah i appreciate all y'all for subscribing and all y'all comments all y'all love and uh just know we love y'all back and we appreciate all y'all all right. And see y'all next week. Thank you. <laughs>